Okay, what's up, y'all? Today in Photoshop, we are going to learn how to make an obituary. Um, while this is sort of a um, kind of a sad type of design to make at times, it could be very, very profitable um, because you know people people pass away every day, multiple people. I used to make a pretty decent living doing mostly obituary work with um, with graphic design. So. I'm gonna show you how to make um, one of two different styles that I typically do. Um, obituaries are usually made in like a brochure style. They usually have either a, a single fold or a trifold. Today we're gonna show. I'm gonna show you how to make an obituary using a single fold design. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Now, the size of your obituary, of course, would largely depend on. Um, how big you want it to be. I've made obituaries that are the size of books, like a full sheet of paper, like eight by 10. They're, they're as tall as an eight by 10 sheet of paper. Um, and I've also made obituaries that are half that size, a five by eight or a six by eight or something like that um, after it's folded. So it just depends on what size you wanna do just for space. To, for the sake of saving space and having my computer move as fast as it needs to move while it's recording I'm gonna only do 8 by 10 or actually the width is going to be 10 inches and then the height is going to be 8 inches um, that's gonna be our orientation and then the resolution should be at at least 150 um, personally I would probably do 300 if your computer could take it. Uh, my computer could, could take it, but 150 will be just fine for print. And the reason you want to go higher with the re resolution than the average 72 is because if you print it out at 72, um, you're either going to get very blurry work or it's going to be very sm like a lot smaller than you thought it was. So you want to make sure your resolution is about double or somewhere in between 150 to 300 for print work. So I got my size here. Um, I'll just title it, bro, or not brochure, obituary design. And we're good to go. Okay, so now we have our white canvas. I'm going to hit Apple R or Control R on a Windows computer to bring up my ruler so I can see where my halfway point is on my page because that's very important to know um, because this is where your paper is going to fold at, uh, booklet style. So you want to know where the middle, the midpoint is and it's right there exactly. Um, so let's get started on the design. I was thinking that maybe we could do something like a, a design for Prince because it's somebody everybody knows that passed away recently is pretty much uh, loved around the world and I knew there would be plenty of nice sharp photos for me to choose from of Prince or at least some semi-decent ones. Um, if you're doing an obituary for like a family member or something, obviously you would have to take one of their photos maybe um, a Facebook picture or a family photo you want to go with something that's gonna have them looking really really good you don't want to go with a photo that's low quality um, if it's a, if you can get a professional photo that's perfect a lot of times photos come come out looking very very professionally from from camera phones nowadays when I started doing this that wasn't really the case but now you can get a really good decent picture from a camera phone so you can do that too if you would like. Uh, I'm just gonna look through some of these photos here. I think I like this one. The only thing that's bugging me is that it's cut off on the edge, but I think I'll use it anyway. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, copy the image. Or you could save it or, you know, whatever. And I'll just hit paste. And we wanna move it over to this right side because um, I mean, I know, we all know that in the western part of the world, we read books from left to right. So, 
you would think that it would go on this side, but we're looking at the outside of the obituary and you have to look at it as if you grabbed a book, opened the book and then laid it uh, face down. And in that situation, the cover would be on the right side and the back cover would be on the left. So you wanna do that and make sure you get a nice little area where you want your subject to be. Um, I'm gonna stick with, with white for the front. I'll use a little bit of purple just because of course, you know, Prince is known for his signature purple. So first thing I'm gonna do, um, this bottom is kind of too sharp for me. So I'm going to, I added a layer mask and I'm gonna take the gradient and pick the black to transparent option and then just drag upwards until I fade away that, that harsh corner. And then there's one even on the side here too. Now, what I also could have done is um, get rid of the background, which, you know what? I think I'll actually do that. Let's move this over a bit. Um, I can just take the lasso, the magic wand tool and click on the white and it'll pick up most of the background that I don't want. And just hit delete. Here, let me get this too. Now it's hard to tell what, what, what the work looks like because there's white background there, but it was a pretty clean cut. So we'll take the lasso and delete that remaining little line right there. And then there's also like a little line right here that I would like to get rid of with the lasso. So we'll just, I'll cut that small edge of his guitar off since it's being cut off anyway. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Get in there too. Okay, so now, now if I want to, I could I could go with the purple and it'll, it'll still look pretty decent. Um, I think I'll go with like this color. Now what I did for that is just the shortcut to the fill, which is Shift F5, and I just filled in the, the inside with purple. Now this, this still bothers me, all the white around him, and this is actually a job that would take quite a bit of time to, to complete. So. I'm either going to just go with the white just to make things easier for me, or I'm going to try and put like some type of white glow behind them so that you can't really tell. And that works too, you know what I mean? Like it, it's kind of a, it gives us a cool type of spotlight feel to it. Okay? so. There we go. Now let me move him over a tad bit more. Or actually, I'll make him a little smaller because I want people to see the, the guitar. But I really don't want to take away from Prince either. So, bam. Okay, we got him how we want him on the front. Now what we would like to do is maybe add a couple more cool effects to the photo. Like make it uh, maybe a lens flare or like some type of pinkish purplish spotlight so what I'm gonna do is add a new layer and then I'm gonna set this layer to screen and now I'm gonna take my brush bring it down a little bit and pick one of these lovely purples up here that I have and just paint in the white area a little bit so we can get kind of like a, a purplish pinkish glow going on like it's a light coming from the back and it's kind of shining over his shoulder and, and shining over his hair and you can see like the backlight, the backlighting of it, so to speak. So I think that looks pretty cool so far. Now, um, when you look when you look at obituaries, typically they have a few things on the front. It'll say like uh, "in loving memory of," and then Prince or whoever the the deceased person's name is it'll say that maybe across like the bottom here or like in the middle 
and then it'll say the date and the time of the place of the the funeral service so let's just go ahead and start adding some things in here and starting to fill it up i mean we might change things around later on but for now let's let's start to fill it in and then even if if you're unsure of what type of things to put on an obituary you can just look at obituary designs on google and they'll give you so this is like a pretty much like a standard look for obituaries here and it, you can see it says in loving memory of Sarah Ann Carr and then it says the day she was born the day she passed away and then the date all those things that I mentioned a second ago those are the things that go on the cover so let's start adding that for for prints here and I'm not the hugest Prince fan, so I pulled up his Wikipedia just so we can grab some information to put along into the obituary. Um, first off, we're going to put his name at the top or somewhere on here. Uh, I'll just copy and paste it there. This is definitely not the font we want to go for. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad font, but um, when we do obituaries, we want elegance that we want like a very elegant look a very I, I almost said enchanted but that's not really the word I'm looking for but it, it's kind of like the same style that we use with wedding invites invites and things like that there's like a an old-fashioned sort of script or we use a lot of uh, serif fonts so for the sake of this design, I am going to use a nice clean serif. And the serif fonts, if you're unsure, are the fonts like uh, Times New Roman, uh, Trajan Pro, or Trajan, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. This is a favorite for me, that's a go-to. Uh, Baskerville is another good one, I'll show you how that one looks. I mean, this isn't a, a lesson on, on fonts, but the difference between serif fonts and sans serif fonts are these things here called serifs. And then the fonts like Arial and, and Century Gothic, they don't have these on there, and those are called sans serif. Okay, so we want to pick a nice clean serif font. Like I said, I'm probably going to go with Trajan because it's, it's a little edgy looking on top of it being elegant looking as well. So, and this gold actually looks amazing. I didn't plan on using this gold, but if you have this Trajan color font, that's a, that's a winner. Okay, so we got our font down. This is actually a little too big, I think. And I even might change the color again because the more I look at it, the more it's starting to, to bother me. There's the, the the guy's name. Now we want to do the date. He passed the date. He was born. And typically on obituaries, they call this the sunrise and the sunset. So the day that Prince was born, June 7th, 1958, according to Wikipedia. And then the date he passed. April 21st, 2016. So the sunrise was 1958. Sunset was 421, 2016. Okay. Now, there's no right or wrong way to lay this out. I mean, there's, there's guidelines you have to go by, but you can use whatever fonts you want. You can use whatever colors you want. As long as you have the information on here and you make everything look fit together nicely, like a nice piece, then experiment and go crazy, you know? Like, it, you don't have to use these fonts that I suggested. It's just like a, a nice rule of thumb you could follow if you don't know where to start. 
So we're gonna put Prince's name in white. I mean, why not? You know, or the 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 birth date and the death date. We'll put that in white. And now, um, we need to add the location of the funeral, which I have no idea where Prince was was buried at. So I would just put. Uh, I'm just gonna put template style info on here, like uh, funeral date. goes here um, funeral home location here or just to make it look cool like we will put the funeral home a little bigger and then the funeral home address will go at the bottom So the address could go down here. I think I would want to put Prince's name in something a little cooler. Like this maybe, that's pretty dope. And then also, got to put the classic uh, in loving memory of Prince Rogers Nelson. Maybe I want, oh no, maybe not. Okay. Um, I think I want a little bit of this purple that we used here. And I'm just going to take the eyedropper tool and like that color I'm gonna put it back to screen so that it that gives our effect, our effect back but now I want to maybe put it right there and give it a little bit more of a flare on the text too and it kind of creates like that sort of gradient like purple to black look which looks pretty cool and it just creates a little, a little bit more depth so um, let me see what I'm missing that will go in the front of the Okay, so that, that's pretty much the info that we want to front. Um, now we could also increase the style of design, or not increase it, but we could make the design better because it's a little clean right now. So maybe, maybe we want to take the shape tool and make the funeral home place stand out a little more such as that, like put a little purple or whatever color that might match box around it. And then that makes this text a little harder to read. So we can make that like maybe a dark purple, a purple so dark it almost looks black. So now we have that, um, we could even go into a little bit more depth. I'll double click on this rectangle box and maybe add a stroke to it. Now, when you add inside strokes, they look a little cleaner because it, it keeps the edges sharp. The outside stroke, it curves the edges. So when you make like strokes in a rectangle box, it's a cool idea to keep the stroke to the inside. And I'm actually gonna do something like that. Oh, whoops. And then you can put a pattern too. I mean, it's, it's completely up to you how you want to get this done. I think that looks dope too. So I'm gonna leave it. So there we got the front. One more thing I'm gonna do to the front, just to give it more of a uh, evangelic type of look. I'm going to look for some clouds that could go on here. Uh, and this is where like, you know, it can get overwhelming, I guess. Because you have to know when to be like, all right, this is the design I want, and I'm, I'm good with it. And right now I'm not at that point, so I'm gonna make a couple more adjustments to the front, and then we'll be good. I like this picture. You can use any photo, whatever. Um, 
and I'm just gonna paste it right here. So now we got this type of like, oh, princess in heaven sort of feel to the design. Um, just to make things match, we're going to make this black and white too, just like princes. And then we're gonna go to our adjustments and go to levels because I, I just personally feel like now there's, there's too much going on in the background to distract you. So we could go like this, bring those shadows in more. And then the final touch will be setting this layer to screen so that we only get the, the highlights of the clouds. And what I did right there was just duplicate the layer, which you can do with Control J or Apple J. Or you could simply just take the layer, click on it, drag it into the new layer thing, and it'll duplicate it for you. So now we got this problem where there's a little bit of a sharp edge right there. We could just take our gradient, go back to our gradient tool, and swipe that away. Cool. Now we got a cool front design for prints. I think it looks great. Um, we can move on to the back side. This is the back cover. So things that usually go on the back of an obituary. Let's delete this or duplicate this. I mean, uh, let's make the text white. It's pretty easy to read. It's white on purple in most cases. Okay, so on the back. Um, on the back goes things like uh, the Paul Bearers, maybe a poem could go on the back, acknowledgements. So, and then the, the actual address of the funeral go on the back as well. So, those are a few things that you put on the back side. I'm not gonna put a poem. Actually, what I'm gonna do is Google some Prince lyrics. Like, you know, fill in this back side. So we could do like a quick poll on the back. I'm just gonna copy and paste what I just copied from the Doves Cry lyrics. This time I'd like to use Baskerville. And I don't want everything in caps anymore. So we're, we're flush it left. Uh, pull this down some. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this center. And then you can see like in some situations, the black shows up more than the white for the purple, which is not something I can really explain artistically right now. Like, I don't know why that happens. But, you wanna make sure your text is, is legible on the obituary. the funeral like where um, for example like where or I'm sorry not the arrangements the acknowledgements okay so then the acknowledgements go on the back 
which would be like the family saying thank you basically and there's like like a default type of message that many obituaries have on the back so it would be like the family would love to thank what does this one say the family wishes to express their sincere gratitude to all those who have supported us during this time of loss so it's basically like a thank you um, it, it could be anything like that that's fine So, there is our design for the front side. I think maybe I want to, ooh, I like that. Put sort of a pattern in here. Not that big, but like that. Just to add a little bit more depth to it. I mean, you don't really have to do that. <laughs> but I think it looks good. And also, one thing that's bothered me seems more on a pink side than purple so I'm gonna just there we go yes cool so bam there's our front side so we save it as uh, obituary design front all right so now let's move on to the back or the inside this would be the outside. So let's move on to the inside now. It's gonna be the same size, eight by 10. Um, just like before, you wanna mark where your midpoint is so you know which page is which. And if you don't wanna go through the trouble of redoing everything, you can grab stuff from your other, your other, uh, the outside layer. As long as you have it saved as a PSD, just drag this in here, hold the shift key bam you got another base to, to put stuff on let me turn this up a little bit there give ourselves a little bit of a glow now the thing about obituaries and this is something that that like if you're in the business of doing obituary artwork your client will absolutely love you if you take time to uh, understand who the person was that passed away and how to design their obituary based on those things. So just for example, and this is the reason I picked Prince because he's a musician and that's like kind of an, an easy theme to go off of, but I've done obituaries where um, the, the, the person was he loved fishing or he was an army vet or he was a pilot or you know he was um a chef or she was uh she was into politics or maybe she was a doctor and all of these things all these professions and all these hobbies that people are into can can go into the design of the obituary and it'll make it that much more personal for the person that you're doing it for so knowing that prince is a is a, mu a musician who could go like a electric guitar png like maybe we could put like an electric guitar on here or electric guitar prince bam we could grab one of these designs 
or one of these guitars, I should say, and add it to the design somehow. Um, or you can use, you could even use another photo of the art, the, the person that passed away. So like, maybe I just want to have another picture of Prince. This one's not very big. I thought it'd be bigger than that. Um, well, first let's let's uh, let's add some more elements to it. But like I said, guys, there's really there's really no wrong way to do this. So now that I know I want to put like guitars and stuff on here, I can do away with these clouds, and I can maybe do like I want this to blend in. So maybe an overlay. And then we'll go back to adding our mask and using our gradient tool to, to fade the edges. Now you're gonna have this edge right here. You can get rid of it if you want, or you can keep it and it'll show you where the fold line will go once you, if you have to print these out and fold them up yourself. So that's just a little secret that you can use also. So, but me i'm gonna get rid of it i don't want that hard line right there so maybe i want to add like another picture of prince i think i do want to do that this one's pretty pretty damn cool i think i'll do this one just gonna copy it and paste it on here wow that's amazing I might not even that's so dope I might not even use this guitar I, or if I do I'm gonna use it on the other side that's what I'll do so I'm gonna take this uh, go to edit and free transform and you can right click on it and flip it horizontally and put it on this side and then here, let's lock this so that it doesn't get in my way So now we got her inside, and this is crazy dope to the point where I almost wish that I designed his obituary myself for his funeral. Um, so the things that'll go on the inside is on the left side will be a bio, and on the right side will be an order of service. Um, if it's a trifold, the order of service goes into the center, and or or to the right. I mean, it, there's like I said, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. But usually, I will put the order of service after I put the bio. So we're gonna go back to the Prince Wikipedia and just grab some info about him. Here, let's actually do early life because that's what the obituary would typically be about like your early life and your career so we just copy and paste this into here um, okay now we're having an issue of things being a little difficult to read I wouldn't put my fonts any smaller than 12 as far as like writing stuff like this goes because then you won't be able to see it We'll just, we'll just stop it here for the sake of like it could be too much info to use just delete the rest of this okay so now we have the problem of the, the this being too difficult to read over here which isn't really a problem per se I just have to bright, either brighten up the text to make it work which didn't work for me or I can let's have another layer here and take our gradient tool and then do a darkness on the side and then make this white and there we go now now we can read it that's simple okay so there's his bio now on this side would be the order of service an order of service is simply It's just basically telling you what's 
what's about to happen at the at the funeral. So it might say something like there might be songs at the that are played from the funeral. So you might have the song listed there, or if someone's gonna come up and speak, you'll have that listed. And I'm gonna try to pull up an order of service template because I can't exactly remember everything that would go there. Because it can literally be like a number of different things. So when you look on here, you can see the order of service, prayer in the home is like someone saying a prayer and then there's music. And then, you know, the vocal solo, the speakers, that type of thing. So, and then even on their design, they have the order for the funeral service on the back and the bio on the back. But for ours, we have ours on the inside. So that just further makes my point clear that you can make it pretty much however you'd like. So let's just say song. And then order of services, they usually are followed by these dots. And then it'll, it might say the person's name. So basically it would be like, okay, the, the interlude song and then the speech and then remarks and just basically everything's not going to be a song. Everything would be something else, but it would be specific to what is going to happen at your funeral. So I'm gonna go back here and look at this again, just for inspiration. Uh, prayer. Um, uh, speakers. And then if that happens, you just delete some of the dots to keep things even. Another thing you can do is when you highlight everything, if you select justified, it'll keep every line starting at the at the same point and ending at the same point too. So you might have speaker, song, prayer, uh, thank yous. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up at this point. Those can stay the same. It's, it's not a big deal what I write there right now. But what's important is you guys see exactly how to lay this thing out and what could possibly go in what areas. So, bam. One last thing that, that would possibly go in here that I see on a lot of uh, funeral designs that I've done. Like, people like to have photos of the family in here or photos of the deceased with friends or with family. Uh, close friends, close families, or special moments and stuff like that. So all that stuff could go down here. Um, and let's let's uh, let's do that real quick so you can see what I mean. So I'll just look for like a few different pics of prints with fans. Maybe I don't know. No, 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 no. no. Prints with I don't know. The, th the point is, you want to get pictures of this guy or this lady, and and you know when they're having good times and stuff. But I, I can't really find one on the net right now because of all of the headlines that people make. Here's a cool one right here, actually. Like a photo like this might be dope. What I'm doing right now is just gonna be a layer cut so I can just get a square image and then shrink it down because you don't want it to be the most important image, but you want it to be on there. And then you can like, 
I like to like lay them crooked and do things like that so that they look like Polaroids. shadows all be consistent you can do copy layer style and then paste who's this prince and beyonce no it's not beyonce i don't know what that is but we'll use this photo too i know it says getty images right across it but since i'm not selling this photo or this design I'm just gonna go ahead and use it anyway so like there would be and then it depends on how many photos the the client brings to you I've had people leave me with like 80 Polaroids and I had to scan every one of them and put them into here so I mean it could be a couple pictures or it could be a ton of pictures it just really depends on the client and what they want you to do This one's kind of like, I'll make this a black and white just because it sort of doesn't go with the other ones too good. Maybe put like a something to make it a little, because these other ones are like strangely colored. There we go. Not all is good. So. I mean, I could keep working and keep adding details to this, but this is pretty much what it is. This is the inside. This is the outside. And once you print them out, you they they'd go out. You print it out as um, a single sheet, obviously. One the outside goes on one side, and the inside goes on one side, and you just fold it. And then you'll have your obituary. So. Um, that concludes our tutorial class. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. If you have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. I know I might have been going a little quick. I apologize if I was, but this is more of an advanced type of tutorial. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more tutorials and please don't forget to hit the share button and share it with your friends. Thanks again, peace.